Hey guys, Wade Triple Three coming back. Um, today I'm going to do a showcase video of some of my Ken Griffey Jr. cards. Um, as you know, I uh, primarily collect Barry Bonds, but I do dabble in a lot of other 90s players uh, and who didn't like Ken Griffey Jr. growing up. Uh, so, um, I have a box here. I'm just going to go through some of the Griffey cards I've picked up over the years. I don't have anything too crazy, but definitely some nice 90s, early 2000s inserts, so hope you enjoy. Um, first one is a 97 Leaf, uh, what are these called? Banner Season. So this is a die cut Leaf insert, number 2500. Nice looking card. Uh, this is also, this is a 96 Leaf. Statistical standouts, and I all the background with the uh, baseball. Actually, got this at a card show here in the Milwaukee area. Um, I was digging through a dollar box, and this was only yeah, like I said, about a year ago. And uh, I found this in there, and I scooped it up right away. I couldn't believe he had this card in here. Um, I mean, I also have the '95, which is even a more aesthetic and uh, generally more. Uh, sought after card but uh, this one also I mean for a dollar you can't go wrong so I was really pleasantly uh, surprised to find that uh, here's a I think this is 1989 or 90 starting lineup card just a nice early uh, shot of Griffey here uh, so decided to put that in magnetic uh, another another uh, leaf 98 Statistical standouts. Now, Leaf always did a great job with these inserts. Um, started in '94, and they definitely got better as they went on. Although, I gotta say, yeah, '95 is probably my favorite. Here's a '97 Pinnacle 40 something. All the players that hit over 40 or so home runs. Another one of my favorites. This is a 98 Ultra Prime Leather Griffey. Has a great leather surface on the front with the baseball in the background. Great looking card, Griffey coming in from the uh, outfield. Uh, here's a 98 Collector's Choice. This is a four star. This isn't, um, there's a couple different Star Quest versions. There's the actual home run set where they have the uh, uh, different design. Those are actually numbered. This is um, not as sought after. This is called the Superstar Domain. Uh, not serial number, but still, uh, I don't know what you call this. Four star. Nice card. Here's another great uh, looking card from Leaf. 96. Gold stars, obviously, gold card, great looking card, great shot. Just a clean insert, and it's also number to twenty five hundred. Uh, here's one I've had for a long time, uh, ninety eight tops finest, bordered refractor. Another baseball in the background kind of design, great refractor. Finish. I got the sun in here a little bit, so kind of can show it off just right. Nice card. And here's the '99 Mystery Finest. Another great looking card. Love the '90s refractors. And this has definitely got to be one of the more classic designs from the 90s. 96 Ultra Thunderclap. It's a great background with the thunder, and the, I think the purple was a perfect choice for this card. Of course, there's a much tougher uh, gold medallion parallel for this, but uh, I do not own that. Okay. Most of my money socked away in my Bonds cards, but they do... Search for many other players, especially when the price is right. Can't go wrong. 
96 Select Certified Red. Great looking card. Great contrast with the uh, teal uniform. I have quite a few different players from this red set just because it's such a good looking design with that ba red background. And here's the first Reds card. This is the 2000 Stadium Club Chrome Capture the Action Refractor. So he is in the Reds uniform. I know a lot of Griffey collectors aren't as fond of the Reds uniform cards, but uh, I can't pass up a Griffey for a good price. So, in the refractors, I always look good. So, uh, he's a 98 finest. So these are the uh, dual refractors from this year. Jose Cruz Jr. on the back. These cards had a lot of problems with errors and uh, labeling issues. So there are a lot of different variations. And this one's actually correctly labeled. So happy about that. Here's the 97 Don Ross Limited. This is the limited exposure. Again, I'm sharing the card with Jose Cruz. Actually, got this one in uh, from Japan. So I actually got a good, pretty good price. I know some buyers don't like to buy cards uh, that are out of the country, but uh, I got a good deal and it came quickly, so I can't complain. Dog's uh, making some noise because my girlfriend just left to the store and now he's all has to fend for himself for half an hour. He's a uh, Diamond Kings Retro. This is from, I think, 2001 when they first came back with Don Ross. So this is a retro version for 2000. 2500 made again. Great shot of Griffey. Nice little art portrait. Oh, another card I love from Ultra, the 97 uh, Fielder's Choice. Great leather uh, surface. Great design. And, of course, everyone has to have one of the 89 Upper Deck Rookies. Actually, I have two of these in a PSA 8 also. This is a raw version I've had. I'm sure everyone's seen that card a million times. Uh... 97 Donruss Elite Gold Stars. I just got this last week. It's a great looking card. Simple design, but the gold just makes it look that much better. And I have some other a few game used cards, some more reds issues. Here's another one I picked up. The 94 SP Previews. I got this in the same uh, auction last week. Been wanting this card for a while. Nothing too high end, but uh, I love the. Uh, looks like he's kind of at the beyond deck circle there, maybe. And uh, got it for a great price. These are the preview cards before the actual set came out. Uh, 99 finest franchise records. Maybe this is 98, 98 or 99. It's one of the last years of uh, Griffey in the Mariners uniform. So. Nice looking card. Here's another classic. 96 Leaf Total Bases. It has a, the uh, kind of base effect, base design, and uh, similar surface to it also. Mimicking a uh, base. Number 5,000. I remember these cards were a heyday back when I was a teenager. These were some of the hottest cards out. So picking them up now it just kind of brings me back to all the, the uh, memories of childhood. 95 Select Big Sticks, another great design with the team logo in the background. Has some nice shine to it. There's a 95 Leaf Gold Stars, another great looking card. A little bit of a, some die cut action going on in there. And this is definitely one of my favorites. Another die cut, 97 Pacific Triple uh, Triple crown die cut. Got this last year. This is a great looking card. These are pretty tough to pull. Uh, don't remember the odds offhand, but um, 
at least one in every two or three boxes, I think it was. Maybe more, but a great design. The 95 Finest Power Kings. This one's a little faded. I think these issues, these uh, finest cards tend to have that issue. So that's a peel on it. Uh, it's a 96 Pinnacle Team Spirit. Another one of those iconic cards from uh, my childhood of the mid 90s. Nothing super rare, that tough, but it seemed like it back in the day when you were a 13 year old kid with uh, not much for an allowance. Uh, here's a later one, 99 SP Reflections. I've been kind of kicking around putting this uh, insert set together. It's just a guy, simple design, the portrait with a couple other shots in it. I love that uh, kind of foil shine to it. So I probably have almost 10 or these of these cards if so of other random players from the set. So I might uh, eventually put that set together. Uh, 97 Fleer Zone, another great uh, insert. It's kind of the foil background there. It's a great looking card. And last but not least, the 96 Pinnacle Slugfest. Another foil dufex kind of uh, technology. I have to take it out of the screw down here, but that's what it came in. So, anyways, that's a uh, stack of Griffies I have here. I also have a couple binders, but nothing uh, as uh, high end as this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, feel free to comment below, and have a good day.